Every week, her parents bought for their daughter a lesson. Once a week for 75 cents, they were able to do that. As if they knew where the road of life would lead. Very tough. Charlene Mortensen. In the evening when you're alone, then the tears can come. We were going to die together in our 90s. You know, we just thought we'd make it to our 90s together. Last year, the day after Christmas. It was quite sudden. Charlene yeah. lost her Daryl at 81. There were the mornings where she would be crying and not wanting to get out of bed. Jody Mayer remembers day one, last spring of assisted living, her mother entering, then clinging to the wall. She says, I don't want to go in, I don't want to go in, and it broke all of her hearts. 75 cents a week, Charlene's parents had paid for those piano lessons. Sometimes we can't imagine the treasures our investments will yield. <laughs> They've really only known each other about seven months. It's a gift. Dwayne Anderson moved into Elder Homestead a few weeks after Charlene. It didn't take long for the former high school band director to find her. Dwayne, too, had lost his spouse and more. It's the Battle of the Bulge. When your hands have been shattered by a World War II mortar, it's hard to play alone. Harder still when you're 92 and you've lost most of your eyesight and hearing. She actually is my eyes and my ears because if I make a mistake and she catches it, she will tell me. For hours they'll play together every day and it's just wonderful. Both have known loss. Both have known loneliness. Then both landed in rooms within feet of each other. We play a little, hug a little, <laughs> that sort of thing. I'm part of her life, you know. Uh, that's important. It is human nature to project the way our lives will someday look. But the key to happiness is finding our way. How oh, soft. When life rearranges the picture. Thank you. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. Thank you for listening to us. Minnetonka. Is that it? Yeah. That's it.